So in this part, I'm going to talk about how people with atrial fibrillation who are very symptomatic, feeling rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, and other symptoms, how do we put them back in rhythm? First thing is the blood thinners. We have to make sure there's no contraindications to blood thinners, like they don't have any bleeding issues. So blood thinners is the key part for this patient's uh, atrial fibrillation treatment. Blood thinners help to prevent the stroke, and different blood thinners include Eloquist, Zeralto, Prodaxa, Coumadin, Warfarin, those are the different approaches we take. And then if patient is in atrial fibrillation, sometimes we may try some antiarrhythmic drugs like Amiodrone or Multac or Sorolol, Flaconide, etc. to put you back in rhythm. Sometimes they may help to convert you back in rhythm, but sometimes they may or may not. But your doctor may still use them to help them plan the future strategies. Sometimes we may ask the patients to do the cardioversion, which includes shocking your heart, putting you back in rhythm. That is, works pretty effectively, puts you back in rhythm, but that may or may not last long. We don't know that. Sometimes it may last for a year, sometimes 10 years, sometimes five months, sometimes five days. If the long-term strategy for atrial fibrillations, your electrophysiologist will talk to you about other options, which can include an ablation where doctor can go by using a minimally invasive procedure. They can try to go inside your heart, find the short circuits or the atrial fibrillation triggers, and they can either freeze them, which we call a cryoablation, and or they can heat up and cauterize those tissues called radiofrequency ablation. That may help to cure the AFib. There's a good success rate with this procedure. It's not 100%, but it's a very good success rate that may help to make patients feel better. And that may help to sometime even get rid of certain medications, not all of them, but there's different strategies which you can discuss with your electrophysiologist, and you should, because unless you ask the questions, you won't know the answers. So talk to your doctors about ablations, talk to your doctor about the treatments for atrial fibrillation, and we here at First Coast Heart are always inviting the people to come and ask the questions. I am Dinesh Pabi, I'm one of the cardiac electrophysiologists. I subspecialize in atrial fibrillation. Any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you. That's good.